learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. This is an introduction to safety for MIG, or metal inert gas welding. MIG welding involves an electric arc between a wire feed and a metal surface, shielded by an inert gas to protect the weld from oxidizing. Welding can be highly dangerous, but can also be very safe if you follow the rules of safety and protect yourself with the right equipment. MIG welding involves intense heat, light, and molten metal. You have to know about controlling gas flow and the movement of the gun, and understanding the parts of the setup. Before we start, it is essential that the operator has on the necessary personal protective equipment, or PPE. You must wear CSA-approved safety shoes or metal toe shields. Hot metal can drop on your feet, and you must also protect yourself from falling metal work pieces. Your shoes should also have non-slipping soles for oil or water. By the way, you should be wearing wool socks. Nylon will melt and cause enhanced burns and pains from molten metal. Because of intense heat, sparks and potential molten metal spraying or dropping, you will need to protect yourself and your street clothes. An approved welding jacket, bib, or coveralls are necessary to keep you or your clothes from getting burned. You will also need approved welding gloves for your hands. An approved welding helmet is absolutely essential. The light from welding can blind you, perhaps permanently. Make sure it's functioning perfectly and it's secure on your head. You can test it by shaking. Make sure your eye shield is secure and not scratched. Tell your instructor if there's anything wrong. Never use an improperly functioning helmet. Before beginning, double check the welding area to make sure that there are no flammable materials nearby and that anyone in the area is aware that welding will be starting shortly. They may need to put on PPE as well. It is really important that you consider the metal material you are planning on working with. Are there any combustible oils or toxic contaminants on the metal that can react suddenly in a dangerous way? Some oil residues are explosive and metal must be cleaned before use. Never weld on a closed container. Make sure you know where your metal is coming from to work with and that your teacher has reviewed your welding project plans. Before the machine is turned on and the gun positioned, Make sure the proper settings are selected and the ground clamp is connected securely. Settings are dependent on types of metal used as well as thickness. See your teacher for the details. You should also review the manual for the machine you're using and be aware of your gas supply turn on procedure. Your teacher will demonstrate the correct flow. We are going to create a bead of weld on a piece of flat bar stock. Position the gun so that the wire sticks out about two millimeters above the workpiece and at a slight angle. Hold your hand in place, flip your helmet closed, and trigger the gun. As the arc starts, move the gun along the workpiece, pushing the weld pool to create the bead. You should hear a constant buzzing sound. If you hear snap, crackle, and pop, you are too far away and you must move the gun closer. Once you are proficient and comfortable with this process, try moving your hand in a slight weaving motion. This will produce a better, stronger weld with more penetration for bonding. When your weld is completed, Always remember the workpiece is hot and will take some time to cool. Never touch a workpiece with bare hands. When cooled from red hot, you may not see that the workpiece is still hot enough to burn you severely. Always warn anyone in the area that the work area is hot. Do not leave the area if someone could accidentally come and touch a hot surface. Scrub the weld with a wire brush to remove any debris. Make sure you have your face shield or safety glasses on at all times. The debris is sharp and potentially hot. Use only gloved hands or tongs to remove the workpiece. Shut off the gas and turn off the welder, wrapping cables neatly and off the floor. A clean area prevents a lot of safety hazards. Clean up your area and get it ready for the next operation before leaving, and wash your hands. Let's do a tool safe review. An approved, properly functioning welding helmet is a must, as are proper welding clothes and shoes. Be aware of shop gas use procedures. Make sure you have proper settings adjusted for the work you are doing. Ensure you know the source of your metal and that it's clean and ready to use. Good welding technique minimizes sparks and molten metal splatter. Always use eye protection when cleaning off welds and cleaning work surfaces. Tidy and reset your workspace. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe. Thank you.